It is important to achieve great health, fitness, and an athletic physique without resorting to extreme measures. First off, what do I mean by great health and fitness? Great health means being free from major lifestyle-related diseases, while general fitness means having the physical capacity to handle everyday tasks, sports, hobbies, and unexpected challenges. Aesthetics involves having a lean muscular physique with visible abs and overall muscle definition. You don't need extreme training to get there. You don't need to become a bodybuilder, powerlifter, or gymnast to achieve your fitness goals. A consistent routine with basic exercises can give you the results you are looking for. Think simple. Bodyweight exercises, resistance bands, and a bit of cardio can get you in a great shape. You don't need a gym or fancy equipment to achieve well-rounded health and aesthetics. Let's address a common misconception, the belief that reaching your fitness goals requires extreme efforts. Aiming for a 600-pound deadlift or mastering an advanced gymnastic skills can push you towards higher fitness levels. But it's not always practical or necessary. If you shoot for the 600-pound barbell squat or the bodybuilder physique or a full plant and all other gymnastic skills, then even if you don't achieve those goals, you are going to end up in a great shape just trying to get there. While that's certainly possible, I don't think it actually works that way most of the time because that type of training is highly specialized. A highly specialized training seeks to maximize your performance within a very narrow scope of adaptation and it often requires sacrificing other fitness qualities and other health considerations that get in the way. The further you push down one domain of fitness, the more extreme your training has to get in order to keep things moving and the more it exposes you to injury, burnout, and might even sacrifice other aspects of your health. Specialized training focuses on one aspect of fitness at the expense of others. For example, bodybuilding might give you an impressive muscle size but limit flexibility. Powerlifting can build incredible strength but might not support endurance. Gymnastics improves technical skills but may not address overall strength. A balanced approach is key. I'm not telling you what your goal should be. I'm not saying you shouldn't bodybuild or practice gymnastic skills or powerlift or that there aren't really useful things from those disciplines that you can borrow from and integrate into your own training. I'm just saying that if your goals are simply to have excellent health and well-rounded fitness, and a great physique that you can sustain over time, you don't need to train like a bodybuilder or powerlifter or a gymnast. Instead of pushing extremes, aim for a balanced fitness routine. Incorporate a mix of cardiovascular exercise, strength training, flexibility work, and proper nutrition. This holistic approach supports overall health and ensures long-term sustainability. You can borrow effective techniques from different disciplines but integrate them into a balanced, manageable routine. To sum up, achieving excellent health and a great physique doesn't require extreme measures. Focus on a balanced, consistent routine that combines different fitness elements to get the best results. I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, share your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.